Now, the season's 18th typhoon METAG brought torrential rainfall to most of the southern region of South Korea over the past 36 hours, flooding homes and businesses. There are also fears there could be a spike in waterborne infections as waterlogged areas are especially prone to unsanitary conditions. Choi Jung Yoon has more. Typhoon Mitak triggered hundreds of cases of flooding and landslides, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Homes in the southern parts of the country, including the city of Pohang and Jeju-do Island, were battered by heavy downpours of up to 200 millimeters in rain. Swollen rivers and overflowing sewage drains are also posing serious health concerns, as they can carry diseases through water. It is possible to contract waterborne illnesses such as dysentery, typhoid, and hepatitis A in areas where the storms have passed. People can become infected by germs and viruses carried by the contaminated water. There is also a high risk of food poisoning after the passing of a storm. Agricultural products submerged in contaminated water can cause stomach aches and nausea. To make matters worse, the humid weather provides an ideal growth environment for bacteria that causes food poisoning. Due to the many typhoons that have made landfall in Korea this season, mosquito populations have also risen, which carry many disease risks of their own. Experts say people should avoid eating fruits and vegetables that may have been submerged during a flood and to keep their kitchen tools clean. To prevent mosquito bites, people are advised to remove any puddles of water near their homes and install mosquito nets. Choi Jung-yoon, Arirang News.